What is going on everyone? It's Inuyashis here. What we're going over today will be how to craft Gurno Armor. The first thing we need to do to start crafting Gurno Armor would be to find a house with a level 5 armor workshop. There are currently 5 cities in which we can do this in. The first place we're going to be looking at is Valencia City. On house 11-5 level number 2 we'll find one of these workshops. Over in Altanova, we can find two of them, one being in 8-4 and one being in 5-8. Next up over in Glish, house number 4. Over in Keplin, there's house number 1-5 on the third floor. And last but certainly not least, over in Calfion in the Noble District, we got house number 1-4, the second floor. Now it doesn't actually matter which one of these houses you choose to start crafting your Gruno armor in. Just choose what is most convenient for you. I would suggest doing it in one of the major cities that also has a marketplace if you plan on selling them though. Because it will make it a lot easier where you don't have to transport the armor before you sell it. Next let's look over what we actually need to craft Gruno gear. We're going to be using brass ingots, fine tough hide, black crystals, and black stone powder. Now that we know what we need to craft the Gurnal gear, let's go over how we get each of these resources. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to make is brass ingots. You can make these by heating together 5 melted zinc shards and 5 melted copper shards. You're going to have to have the skill heating beginner to do so. If you do not have knowledge on heating beginner, you're going to have to do the quest pure water for an experiment. I'll put a link to the quest down below so you can get to that if you need to. Just check the description for that link. Next up we're going to be covering black crystals. Black crystals can be obtained from workers in 5 different nodes. The first node is going to be relatively easy straight south of Altanova in the abandoned iron mines. If you look at the node itself it's going to be this iron ore node and you can see that it produces rough black crystals. This is going to be a luck proc, so you do want a human worker on this node. The next node is going to be over in Valencia, and it's going to be at the Basham base. It's going to be pretty much straight east of Altanova. It's going to be southwest of San Gran Bazaar. But in the Basham base, there's going to be another iron ore node right here with the rough black crystal. The next node is going to be northeast of San Gran Bazaar over here at Pilgrim's Haven. This one is in the desert so be sure to bring water or star anise tea depending on if it's daytime or nighttime because you don't want to die of heat stroke or hypothermia. The next stop is in the desert so keep that purified water or that star anise tea with you and head southeast of San Gran Bazaar. Over here in the Crescent Mountains, you'll find two worker nodes where you can obtain rough black crystals. Again, keep in mind that getting rough black crystals is going to be based off of luck, so you do want humans working all of these nodes. You'll just have to melt those rough black crystals into the regular black crystals. Up next, we gotta get our fine tough hide. I'm going to give you two ways to get these. Okay, so the first location I'm going to go over is going to be just south of Kusha. Over here in between these roads are going to be a nice dense area of bison. These bison social aggro and you can get your fine tough hide here just collecting off of these. One thing to keep in mind is the bison are about level 50 so if you're a lower level you might not want to come to this area. And to go over a little bonus area we're going to be just south of the Mansha forest. This is a nice little area if you're stationed out of Calpheon because you can get your pig hides while over here in your general area without having to go across the world. Now that we got our hides, the only thing left to do would be to dry the hide with some processing. This is going to melt the hides into tough hides and you can then again repeat the process with tough hides to get fine tough hides. The last thing we're going to have to get would be some blackstone powder. Now. At the current moment, blackstone powder is pretty much impossible for you to buy straight up off the market, so we're going to cover a few ways you can obtain blackstone powder. By far the best thing you could get your hands on to grind for blackstone powder would be some orange magic crystals. 
These end up giving mid to high 90s on the amount of plaque stone powder obtained per process, and it gives you the most bang for your buck at the moment. Do keep in mind that this is always subject to change as the market fluctuates. Also keep in mind that I do have above master processing as well as if you can't get your hands on those orange crystals, you can buy other crystals or even black stones if you are desperate enough for the powder. Alright, so we've officially gone over everything you need to craft the Gurnal Armor. The last thing you're going to have to do is put all the materials in the town that you're going to be using to craft the armor, as well as make sure your worker is working from that area. Your workers always use the materials from the town that they are in. So with that all done, you're all set up and ready to go. I hope this video helped you out along the way at some point. You all take care and have a wonderful day.